Today we are reading excerpts from Dreamscape Crime Files, criminal files archived by the Bloodhound family, documenting some Dream Chaser crimes with particularly heinous influences. This file documents individuals who have caused significant social harm and posed a serious threat to the security of the Dreamscape. Following a verdict, the Bloodhound family will archive this file. Name, Domanda. Charges, three counts including illegal possession of prohibited weapons, false accusations, and terrorist attacks. Domanda arrived in Pinnacone as a dream chaser early in early 2155 AE. Initially employed by the Alfalfa family to assist the Nightingale family with the foundations of the dream weaving project, Domanda encountered a meme attack during an operation, resulting in severe damage to his electronic components. Unable to continue his work, he was persuaded by the Alfalfa family and voluntarily left during 2155 AD. Subsequently, due to the deterioration and malfunctioning of his logic and intellectron parts, Demanda made multiple unsuccessful attempts to publicly harass and extort the Alfalfa family by fabricating false accusations. Utilizing knowledge from his dreamweaving days, he intentionally caused several building collapses and meme generation events in various locations, including the Golden Hour and Blue Hour, resulting in psychological damage of various degrees to a total of 1,958 individuals. Among them, 35 individuals require special memoria medication for the remainder of their lives. Once the culprit is apprehended, the annihilation process will commence immediately. Name, Barnos. Charges, 7 counts including unlawful possession of prohibited weapons, aiding and organizing illegal entry into Dreamscape, and assaulting law enforcement officers of the Bloodhound family. Barnos arrived in Pinnacone as a dream chaser toward the end of 2155 AE and settled there. Later, due to his wife's illness, he attempted to auction a hundred years of his life's usage in the moment of dusk but to no avail. Subsequently, he engaged in a fight with a Pepeshi merchant who won the auction for lifetime in an unsuccessful attempt to snatch the auctioned item. As a result, Barnos was expelled and developed antisocial ideation. Between late 2155 AE and early 2156 AE, Barnos repeatedly assisted stowaways in exchange for large sums of money. Consequently, over 2,000 stowaways made it to Pinnacone, with more than 200 remaining unaccounted for, despite several searches conducted by the Bloodhound family. In his final years of criminal activities, Barnos incorporated some of the stowaways into his team. According to his subordinates, he mistreated his followers due to their lack of legal status. Eventually, his failure to distribute these spoils equally led his followers to report him to the Bloodhounds, resulting in his apprehension. Name Lamuin Charges 7 counts including illegal smuggling of prohibited drugs, market disruption, and distribution of dangerous substances. Lamuin arrived in Pinnacone in the middle of 2156 AE as a traveling merchant. However, a joint investigation by the family and the IPC revealed that his merchant certificate was obtained through bribery. The individuals involved in the fraudulent activity have been investigated and punished accordingly. Initially, Lamuin sold illegal psychotropic drugs in Pinnacone and engaged in fraud to sustain himself. Later, he colluded with local criminals to smuggle a significant quantity of Memoria products into Pinnacone via his merchant certificate, gaining market share through dumping practices. This posed a serious safety hazard, as his drugs had not been verified and approved by the Garden of Recollection and Pinnacone Quality Control Authorities. After the Bloodhounds dismantled his illegal industrial chain, Lamuin disappeared for six months. Upon resurfacing, he poisoned guests in the Reverie Hotel, in reality, as an act of retaliation against the family. This incident resulted in a total of 130 individuals being hospitalized, three of whom died. Subsequently, the Bloodhounds conducted a thorough search. Lemuin ingested poison in a bathroom in the hotel, committing suicide. <laughs>